All right, our guys are here to break this one down for us. David Nixon, former Cougar, Stevenson Sylvester, former Ute. It's not surprising the Utes won this game. It is surprising that they just dominated USC like they did. Yeah, they got to a slow start. I give credit to the Utah coaching staff, Kyle Whittingham and company, of really keeping this team's morale, their mentality in the game, even though they got off to a slow start. Yes, they did. Going down 0-14, the key was don't panic. There's still five minutes left in the first quarter. You have tons of time to come back, stick to the game plan, and they did that. I really love Tyler Huntley sticking to the game plan as well. Yeah, Tyler Huntley threw for 341 yards, four touchdowns, and you see a big touchdown here in the first half when he got to the ball to Britton Covey on a big third down. Yeah, this was the, right, this was the first drive right after he uh, fumbled the ball for six, uh, for six points. And this defense right here, USC, was totally wrong. Tyler Huntley recognizes that they got a six-man pressure, which means he had to get the ball out quick. He goes to his third down specialist, Covey. This defender has too much yards. Covey just has to sit down right at the first down marker. Bad tackling. Covey goes for six. So what's the proper technique there? From the DB, you've got to put your heels and drive to the ball. You can't give ground, right? Right, right. Especially on Covey. You give him any amount of space, he's going for yard. But you put your heels right at the first down marker and then drive straight through. So great job by Utah. And moving on to the second half, Utah comes out of the locker room and gets firing immediately. Touchdown to Solomon Enos. Yeah, this is great. The Utah offense draws the defense offside, so free play. But Enos does a great job of positioning. Right here, he gets space, so uh, Tyler Huntley puts the ball in the correct position is the outside shoulder, and he just makes separation for that defense that have no chance at making the play. So, so obviously, Tyler Humley gets, the, gets it going, but defensively, Chase Hansen. I mean, this kid is a fun player to watch. He's all over the field, continues to pad his stats, it's very impressive. Yeah, he did a great job this whole year. He's really surpassed my expectations for him at, at linebacker. He's doing a great job. If he doesn't get Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, I don't know who deserves Leads it. Leads the Pac-12 in tackles for loss. He's all over the field. So talking about defense and Chase Hansen, Huge pressure and big turnover they were able to create on USC. Jalen Johnson comes up with a big interception. Yeah, it was an amazing play call. It was fourth down. Coach Kelly draws up a zero pressure. Zero pressure means no help all across the board. This free safety has this guy. We sting the nickel, um, the nickel backer, so he comes through. The quarterback sees the nickel blitz, so he slides that side. Next thing you know, Chase Hansen is right in his face, and he throws the ball up for grabs, and Jalen Johnson gets another uh, interception on the goal line. I was hoping he'd take it another 100 yards. But he didn't hey, get to it. Your boy Chase Hanson, the rest of the Utah defensive line, front seven. They were providing pressure all night long. It was impressive all around. Offense, 541 yards total offense. They held USC to nothing. I'm telling you what, they're rolling right when they need yeah, to start rolling. They have some great momentum right now that'll lead to the rest of the Pac-12 play. Got a short week. They go back out on the road to UCLA on Friday.